In 2012, quadriplegic Jan Schuerman was able to feed herself for the first time by using a robotic hand controlled by her thoughts. Doctors had wired a sensor into her brain that analyzed her neural activity. Now, University of California engineers have created a tiny wireless sensor they call Neural Dust. The devices could one day be implanted into the brain to wirelessly monitor neural signals and perhaps control prosthetics. Smaller than a grain of rice, Neural Dust is less irritating to the body than conventional electronic implants which connect to the nerves using wires and can cause inflammation. Instead, the wireless sensors convert ultrasound vibrations into electricity and then transmit information to a receiver outside the body. Researchers implanted the small sensors into the sciatic nerve and leg muscles of rats and monitored the electrical signals between them. But the scientists hope that in the future, neural dust will be implanted directly into the brain to monitor brain function and allow the movement of prosthetics without being wired into a bank of computers. That might be a limb prosthetic, uh, it might be an exoskeleton, it might be something more advanced, uh, like a speech generator. The scientists say it would resemble a Fitbit-like device that lives inside you and would monitor nerves, muscles, and organs in real time. You can almost think of it as the sort of uh, internal deep tissue Fitbit type of thing, right? Where you would be, you would be um, just collecting a lot of data that today we think of as very um, hard to access. But the sensor has to be made even smaller to use it in the brain. So the scientists are working to create neural dust that is only half the width of a human hair. Deborah Block, VOA News, Washington.